Hello everyone, and welcome to my second Shogun 2 commentary replay battles. And <clears throat> um, these are some games I played last night with a few of my clan mates, and they really wanted me to go ahead and show these. So this will be the first uh, battle between me, Nuke and King, and my teammate Mike <clears throat> versus uh, Santos and Nature's Fury. And uh, this is a this is a pretty good match. But uh, what I'm gonna do here is show you how my team won and how their team lost, and the strategies we used. So you guys can probably implement those into your future gameplay, and so my clients can learn <coughs> exactly how or why they lost this battle. So I have my standard two great guard, two boy Shigaru, fully upgraded or you know crazy upgraded, level six now. <clears throat> um, got one Lone Sword Ashigaru as bait, uh, one Naginata Warrior Monk as anti cavalry, and <clears throat> two really strong uh, Katana Samurai called Slashy and Mega Slash. So awesome. <clears throat> My teammate Mike, he's a really good player. I've played with him on multiple occasions, and each time he does not cease to satisfy. So. He has four bow samurai, all called Archer 1, 2, 3, and 4. And he has his katana samurai, destroyers 2, 3, and 4. And uh, one Yari samurai, called Aegis. <laughs> and <clears throat> what, uh, what I do first is I move my great guard up to secure the land so they don't try to push us. I'm going to bring my army past the river because this is when you're super vulnerable. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with my Great Guard is try to kill these archers that are open. So let's see what how it does. <clears throat> I see two Matchlock Ashigaru and two Yari Cav. So I pull back wisely because I do not want to get into a fight with Matchlocks. But two Yari Cav, I will engage. So I do. And that was a really bad move on his part because look at the morale already. Wavering right after the charge. <clears throat> they didn't even get to the melee combat. Boom. Both already broken. I've lost a total of... <clears throat> 20... No. 18. 17. He brings out his other Yari Cav, which is sort of too late. So I split off my Great Guard because he's moving, he's moving some Warrior Monks up. So I split my Great Guard in half and try to get to his bows. <clears throat> and he sandwiches me right here. But I can't fight here. I can't fight in the forest against Yari and Spear. And then let's try to try to move these guys to hit the bows. But I mean, they make it around, but I start getting pelted by rockets. Over here, they finally catch my guys and have them charged right back. And I need to pull away before these warrior monks get to me. Um, I try to charge with my great guard, but I realize that I could probably just run away. So I'm, right now, I'm just trying to hit his general. That's my, my point right here. Kill the general or kill those fire rockets, whatever comes close. <clears throat> but his Yari Cav does catch me, along with the sandwich from Warrior Monks. And uh, I pretty much at this point just give up and let him take those guys. I pull a little bit of Great Guard out to hopefully get in one charge on his uh, general and kill it. But he moves up his Naginatas, so I try to move around some more. All in the meanwhile, we're taking the beach over there. And so right here, where my charge failed, I'm trying to move, maneuver as hard as I can to hit this general. And I finally do, hoping to just do a desperate act and take out the general. I killed about what, uh, over half of that little unit, but there go my great guard. They did well, though. They killed a lot. So now that we have the beach, <clears throat> these bow warrior monks start firing on us. And so we are going to move out of the way. Uh, Mike is going to engage them. And this is nature the whole time. He loves his uh, monks. And um, what I saw over here was this is Santos' army. And what he did was he positioned right on this tree line to get the hill advantage and tree cover. But the problem with that is that since he has a lot of bows, it would be more wise to move his bows back here, like his whole army back here, so that he can use this open area to get uh, good shots in on 
uh, with his archers because um, if your guys march through the forest being shot by arrows, the, uh, the forest will provide a lot of cover. You can see that shot killed a good 15 men possibly. They killed a lot. That shot was pretty good. <clears throat> so he'll pull back his warrior monks. So I say again, so when I look here, I know he has a lot of bow. But I know all the tree cover in there, they probably won't shoot me till right around here. And all I have to do is run into the forest and I'm clear. And in the forest, your army won't die to arrow fire at all. So it's very wise to hide in there. Um, so Mike and I set up a, a position here to get ready to attack both parties at the same time. Since we have them separated, we should have concentrated, but I told Mike to just stay in that forest and shoot at his warrior monks with his archers while I kill Santos because I know I can fairly easily. Although I have few men, I know that as soon as I get into the trees, I will win the fight. <laughs> that confident. So he starts opening fire on the bow warrior monks, or the Naginata warrior monks, excuse me. And he does nothing but take all the shots, which is good because if these things did advance and get to the archers, they would lose. The archers would. Very badly. So it's just going to be uh, archers shooting into these monks, and they're just they're just taking a beating. He's not even trying to stop. Like that last volley killed like, like five, six. Now they're going to charge and get even closer to their deaths. So as he's doing that, I also engage, but he does have Master Magadar waiting for me to ambush. So I shoot into some fire rockets, hoping, hoping to demoralize his men. Set everyone in loose formation, expressing my Lone Sword Ashigaru, which are meant to take all the shots, which is perfect. They all shoot at Lone Sword Ashigaru, routing that unit. Now he charges forward with all his warrior monks into the archer line in the trees. Uh, Mike wasn't able to pull back in time. He was too busy dealing with the Great Guard ambush from the flank, and he was able to counter and we smashed this great guard together and easily routed it. But the problem is, uh, these warrior monks have already engaged his archers. He needs those archers if he wants to take, uh, get any hope of taking out those warrior monks. So he's maneuvering as fast as he can to get his swords into position, start cutting down those warrior monks because his katana samurai will rape those guys if he can get within range. Now this great guard of nature's fury is holding up a really good fight, although it's surrounded, out of men, out of like anywhere to move, anything. He is still fighting and we finally kill every single one of those units before they're able to leave. I keep shooting my uh, rockets into the fight, hoping to try to demoralize their men. And if you notice, they are concerned under artillery attack, thus demoralizing them. My men start to rout, and I fear this because if my men rout, I will lose everything. If one routes, it will all rout. So I move in my general, try to toss in a rally, but I used it. I do believe I used it in the last fight over there to stop my the rest of our guys from routing from a charge. And I push up with my general, bringing my uh, almost broken unit back to yellow, almost green, shooting in with my fire rockets. O over here, um, those Naginata warrior monks were able to be repelled by all his katana samurai. And it's just going to be a bow fight against uh, Mike's guys. He did really good in fighting off all those Naginatas. Really, really good. And in the forest here, I knew once I made contact I would win. So I'm just cutting down all those guys in the forest. There's 3v1s all over the place. 3v1, 3v1 over here with 4v1. He has his general. I'm shooting with my fire rockets as much as I possibly can. Archers lined up over here. And my routing Lone Sword did come back, so I'm going to bring it back into the fight. And these uh, these Yari Ash or these uh, Bo Ashigaro are just having the time of their lives shooting into the forest, and all his men to begin to rouse because I did kill his general, and that is the game. Good game to me and Mike for able to maneuver and get through and do all the damage we needed to, and yeah, good game. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know.